The first encounter we had with somebody coming in our direction, in our lane, straight at us, was uh, coming down like from the Savannah Center, down Buena Vista Boulevard heading south, and here is 466, right here. So we're coming down here like this, and we're coming around the corner to come to these lights. Well, in this encounter, we were coming down here, and just as we turn the corner, uh, up comes two ladies in a car going, I would say, 35 to 40, maybe, well, let's say 40 mile an hour, um, going in this direction in my lane. Again, this is a two-lane divided highway, two lanes on the left, two lanes on the right, and somehow or other she got over onto one of our lanes on the left-hand side. She's going the wrong way. I kind of think that maybe she was going to the Savannah Center and was late for well, some show she was going to and she uh, was just in a hurry and made a terrible mistake that could have killed a lot of us. Notice the car beside me. I don't like pacing cars. I either want to be in front of the car or let that car be in front of me because if something happened I had to move to the right hand lane, I'd have to hit the car beside me. I have nowhere to go. Now watch. Here's a good reason why. Watch what's coming up right now. And if that car had been next to me, what do you think would have happened? Here we go. Here comes a person coming the wrong way. Oh! What the heck is this? Oh! oh my gosh, wait oh. That so let me show you where the encounter happened. This is El Camino Real, and this is the road that goes between Morse Boulevard, which is right here, okay? This is Morse Boulevard, go around the rotary. El Camino Real takes you over to Buena Vista, okay? Those are those two roads I told you in an earlier video. They run north and south in the villages, the two main roads that run north and south in the villages. Okay, so we're coming out of Spanish Springs down here, and we're coming around, around the rotary, go down to El Camino Real, we come around the corner here, and just as we come around the corner, right about here, here's the hospital over here, the Villages Regional Hospital. Just as we come around here, there's a car coming down this way, but he's on that side, not this side. This is a two-lane divided highway. There's two lanes on one side, two lanes on the other. I think the guy came out of here and grabbed the left and stayed over in the right-hand lane, figuring he's in a single-lane road, but he wasn't. He's probably not familiar with the area. He should have come out here and taken a left and gone down this way, because this is one way this way, and this is one way going the other way. Two lanes in each direction, and a center strip down the middle. So, I mean, you kind of should be able to pick it up. Anyway, so now you know where we are, and now let's go to the video and show you what happens when we come down here and start to come around this corner. And we were out here in the left hand on this side of the road, but we're on the left hand lane, not the right hand lane. And wait till you see what we saw. We're kind of surprised. Okay, we're coming down El Camino Real, coming up towards the hospital on our right hand side. And everything looks hunky dory. And fortunately, there's nobody to the right of us, which I talked about in the last one. Now look what's coming here. About two or three seconds. That's it. It's all the time I have. That's pretty crazy. Now let's take a look at this section from the air. Let's go up in the drone here. And we'll take a look uh, down onto the road, that same road we were just on. And you can see there are two lanes out of the left that are going towards Spanish Springs, and there are two lanes to the right that are going like towards and by the hospital. And right about now, there's going to be a couple of cars come up, and I want to stop it right about here. Okay, and notice one's a pickup truck, it's white, and one's a car, it's white on the right-hand side. This is about where we spotted the guy. Imagine if we were in this situation, the guy was coming the other way. Think of what would happen. Where do I go? Where does the other car go? What the heck happens to us in about three seconds? So the takeaway here, I guess, is be careful where you go. 
Um, be aware when you're driving at all times, and also be aware if there's a car next to you that's pacing you. You don't want to pace that car. Get in front of the car or get behind the car. Have that extra lane to escape if you have to. I've had to do it twice. You might have to do it tomorrow. Who the heck knows? We don't know when it's going to happen. You've got about three seconds to decide what you're going to do. So be on the lookout. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is a dash cam. And let me tell you a little about a, the one I use. You're probably wondering how I get video out of this thing. I mean, where did I get the video? Well, believe it or not, I got it from my GPS. This is a, whoop, I almost dropped it. This is a Garmin GPS, and I don't have GPS on my car, so this works great. But when I was looking around for GPSs, I found out that there was a Garmin that you could buy that had a dash cam in it, and here's a little, see that little, uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, there's a little camera right there. So while you're doing your GPS and you're trying to find out where the heck you're going, uh, this is constantly, all the time the car is on, it's recording video out the front windows so I think it's a really worthwhile thing to have in your car. You can buy these reconditioned for like hundred and twenty or thirty dollars. Cheap enough. And you know if you bought a car that had GPS in it normally like in the Corvettes they charge you two or three hundred dollars to get upgraded maps. With the Garmin lifetime maps, upgraded maps. So every time I go on there I you know usually get an upgraded map. How good a deal is that? And for way less then they charge you for the, the uh, navigation that comes in the car. So just a thought.